Here's the insight to Tony. Tony won the Gilroy Garlic Festival competition, of which I was a judge, and your recipes were amazing. And it didn't cost too much to bribe you. Thank you very much. <laughs> you didn't have to bribe me at all. I <laughs> just kept eating it and eating it. I brought you some artichokes, but you have your own. Thank you very much. We've got one or two here today. Yeah, I sure? think a little. <laughs> all right, tell me first, before we get started with your recipes, because they're going to be awesome and easy. Yes, absolutely. The restaurant. Let's hear a little well, bit about Montreal it. Bistro. We're downtown Monterey, which is only about 20 minutes south of where we are right now. Right. And needless to say, only spitting distance from Casterville, we serve artichokes. <laughs> Lots of them. Of course, them. you have to. You have to. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, whole grilled artichokes is what I'm going to show you today is certainly a signature item of our, our restaurant okay. and uh, they're very easy to prepare. Now this is like artichoke 101, right? Really? Yep, okay. really. People are scared of them and they I don't know. need to be intimidated. They are quite simple to prepare. So I'm going to show you the quick and easy version. Okay. This is artichokes fresh from the field. We're going to whack the tops off. Okay. Now they got thorns. The good artichokes, the green globe artichoke. Um, which Ocean Mist, where we are, grows, they have the thorns on them and yeah. they'll, they'll hurt you. They do hurt. Yeah. So, <laughs> cut them off. So, not okay. just for presentation, but we cut them off. If okay. there's any on the sides, you can nick them with a knife right, that's or scissors I, yeah. and just and whoop those off, okay? And I make the kids do it with scissors at home. It's scissors easy. is easy. Yeah, it's easy. Okay. And, and this is, that's, that's, it. that's it. By that's the way, it. that's Artichokes 101. Okay, that's so easy. So, we're going to pop that into a pot of water that we have standing okay. by. And in that, I have uh, dried oregano, uh, red wine vinegar, some lemon juice. And a little bit of salt, and that's, that's it. it. 24 count artichokes, which is what this is, a standard size large choke. 24 count means what, 24 leaves? 24 leaves, of these in a carton. Ah, oh, okay, got yeah, it. 24 of these in a carton. Okay. Um, so those are going to take 35 minutes. You know a lot about artichokes. Do you know a lot about Marilyn Monroe, too? Because she was well, the artichoke queen. <laughs> I drooled over a couple times with that. Okay. Was it, but, uh, okay, no, but that was very easy. And if that's all you want to do to them, you can eat them when they're, how long? Yeah, 35 minutes, pop them out, drain them, and when they come out, they're going to look just uh, like this. Yeah. Now, there's another little trick. Okay. When they come out, set them down on a draining board or something, a tray to let, it, let, it, let the water drain out of them. Okay. And then you want to pop the, the, the center out because inside there's a reason why they're called artichoke. They have this furry bit inside, yes. I don't know if you can see that, but the furry bit in the side nice that looks is, uh, it's got purple and it's, it's literally looks furry. You scrape that out yeah. with a dessert spoon. Because that's the flower if it were to mature. Yes, that yes. gets okay. this beautiful purple flower. Right. You scrape that out and then you end up with the the prize in the middle, which is of course the oh. the, the artichoke there, the yeah. artichoke heart, yes. the heart, and that's in the middle. And mm. uh, this now is is pretty much all edible. Now a lot of people ask, not familiar with artichoke, how do you eat an artichoke? And uh, can I show them? Please, like this? Did I ruin your thing? No, 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 no. Yeah, like that. Mm. So that's how we eat artichoke. Now, of oh course, God, we're going to take this to a whole nother level and make it taste absolutely more incredible by uh, popping it in. Yeah, this is really cool. He told me he was going to do this. Fire roasted. But, uh, ah, a fire what roasted I did is I, I took my favorite vinaigrette, which is a simple balsamic vinaigrette, popped it inside, heavy duty tin foil. You just poured it in there. Just in there. Get okay. it in all the leaves. How, how high? Uh, all the way? Oh, no, 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 just a drizzle, just a drizzle. Okay. Wrap it in heavy duty foil. Okay. Pop it into the actual embers. These are the coals. This is smoking hot. <laughs> yeah, okay. this is smoking hot. <laughs> yeah, and it's burning out the storm there. Okay. And, and, uh, and at the restaurant, we use wood, we use oak. Sure. And we have it right in the fire. It's just incredible. Now, how long do you leave it on there? Oh, about seven minutes. That's it. That's so it's quick. It. Yes. Okay. You can pre-prepare this at home and impress the heck out of people okay. by throwing them right in your I apple. think that's great. Yeah. Yeah, perfect. Um, the other thing, I'm going to show you an incredible sauce, which uh, is wonderful for for uh, artichokes. A lot of people just take mayonnaise and dunk the leaves in mayonnaise. Of course, that's good. I that's do. good. <laughs> I knew it. But it's not as good as what we're going to do today. Okay. We're going to do a charmoula. Uh, charmoula. charmoula is a Moroccan condiment. It consists of cilantro, Italian parsley, cumin, garlic, cayenne pepper, paprika, okay. and uh, lemon juice, and we're going to add mayonnaise to it. All right. So charmoula mayo. Um, we, uh, you could use it, call it aioli, whatever you want to call it, but it's, it's a, it's a mayonnaise-based sauce okay. with a classic Moroccan condiment. Sounds so, great to me. Very simple. How we're do gonna, we start? We're going to start. Parsley, cilantro. Okay. This is the cilantro. I already pre-washed it and uh, got it going. picked it. We're going to chop this up really quickly. Or put in a fruit processor. Because <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I can't cut that fast. No well, way. You, you could, I guess, you'd get away with it that way. But now, a couple little notes here. Italian parsley and cilantro are both fairly delicate, fresh herbs. Right. And uh, they, once you get cutting them like this, you really want to consume them fairly quickly. Oh, right away. Boy, this I can sauce, smell that. Oh, it's very fragrant. Ooh, yeah. yeah. Wait till you add lemon juice, cumin, 
and a little heat with the cayenne pepper is absolutely delicious. I would say the cilantro is almost more, um, you know, I can smell it more than the Italian parsley. Oh yeah, the cilantro yes. is just, just really wonderful. Really good. Yeah. Okay, I'm about there. See, it's not real fine and minced, but it's beautiful, no, fresh. It smells delicious. Yes. Would you mind passing me that stainless bowl over this there? This one, on the okay. Stove? Wonderful. All right. I'm gonna pop that in there. That's uh, cilantro and parsley, and then uh, is it right if I say that the uh, everything's on the website? Everything is on the website, so there you go. Com, yeah. So all of our quantities. Yeah, they don't now, need to worry about that. So I've got a dry pan. There's nothing in this pan whatsoever. I took my cayenne pepper, the, the cumin, the paprika, and I toasted. I'm toasting it right okay, now. Okay. Now there's one thing worse than, than lightly toasted spices, and that's burnt. burnt spices. Mm, yeah. yeah. Get bitter. You have to start over. They're nasty. Throw it in the trash. Okay. Wipe out the pan. Get another one. <laughs> So just you know, I cannot see how tell it you, smells. unbelievable! Yeah. It's great. It really awakens the spices. If just it smells like them that, it smells like that. Oh, and course. that's why yeah. you want to smell too. But it's rubbing. All right. So, <laughs> okay. All right. Now I'm going to pop these spices in here. Now I'm just not going to use all of those. I over overdid it a little bit. So well, I'm going to so use my you know, we're I'm so going to use my measuring spoon there. Just okay. Okay. Now couple more things. Yeah. We have some garlic. I'm going to take a little bit of fresh chopped garlic. You are living in just um, mm. in garlic here too. I mean oh, right at your fingertips. Oh yeah. Oh you're lucky. Good old mayo. Okay. I'm going to pop all of that in there. Okay. Okay and then I'm going to mix this up because the next thing is I'm going to add lemon juice but I want to bring it to the right consistency and taste. So lemon juice is, is going to add the acid and really make everything pop. All right. So all right, this is go. just incredible. Okay. I am going to pop a little bit of this in that ramekin okay. and then we're going to pull our artichokes off the grill. And hopefully they should have a nice caramelization on the outside. The hardest part of this recipe, if you even want to say it's hard, was making this this <laughs> mayonnaise mixture. That's a little toasty, by the way. I'm it gonna, is. I'm gonna use a towel. Okay, yeah, it's hot, I got, hot. I got very sensitive fingers. You don't. <laughs> okay, I get where you're going on that. All right, so it's a little uh, charred. It's got a little black on the outside, and that's okay. I was gonna remember, say, does that bother you? Because I kind of like it that way. Yeah, remember, we don't eat the uh, the leaves. We're only eating the heart, and inside. that's all inside. So okay. what this does, you get a nice smoky flavor that carries through the whole artichoke. It's delicious. I'm gonna pour a little bit of olive oil over right the, top, the top. It's a nice shine. Tell me that's it. That is it. That is it. <laughs> look at him. That's it. It's that easy. I don't know why people aren't doing this every day. Now let me. I want to kind of look on the inside too. Because you've we yeah, got it look all, at that. Yeah, we popped that out. Look at that. It's all falling apart. It's steaming. It's so now hot. if you were eating this, how would you eat it? Pull that leaf yep. off of there, dip it in a bit of this charmola. Mmm. Mmm. Okay, that's hot enough hot. for me to want to try it too. It's hot, but we're gonna start eating it. You're gonna go to a quick quick commercial break, but we'll be back with more. I think we're doing lamb. We are.